Hello everyone, this is Shannon for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's video, we are going to create a super fun interactive card with an adorable surfing mouse who moves up and down, and we're also going to create a super cute beach scene as well. I'm going to start today's card with the Cloudscape panel die. I love this die. It just came out in Waffle Flowers July release, and it is awesome. Great for building scenes. I have an A2 panel here of 110 pound white cardstock, and I'm just going to die cut it with this Cloudscape panel die. And as you can see, after I run it through my die cutting machine, all the layers pop out beautifully. I'm actually not going to use all the layers for today's background. I'm going to modify these, this die a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is create my water layer here, but I'm going to do a partial die cut to create it. I'm going to use that little lower portion of the die here to create my water line. But as you can see, I left about an inch of the cardstock extended past the die, and I'm not going to cover the die completely with my top plate. I'm going to make sure that the, the top plate stops short just at the bottom of the frame. That's going to make sure that I don't cut that frame portion out and the bottom is open so I can have a nice thick water layer here and I'll just trim those two sides there down and that'll make sure that this water layer will fit with inside the frame just like the cloud layers do. Now I've rearranged everything with all the die cuts in there and I just want to show you how I'm going to kind of put, piece this together. The first thing to do is pull those two first two cloud layers and pull them aside. I'm not going to use those at all. Then I'm going to snip this little dividing section here between the clouds and the ground and remove that and then I'm left with just a frame and now I'm ready to start ink blending because I have all my components ready for my background. These three cloud layers are just going to be blended on the bottom with a little bit of distress ink. This is tumbled glass. This little bit of ink blending really makes this sky look really pretty. Once I blend this first layer I'll repeat the process here for the remaining two layers. So just a little bit of ink blending at the very bottom and when I piece this together it really has a pretty effect. Once I finish that I'm going to move to my water layer. Now this is the layer that I created with a partial die cut and trimmed the sides down with my paper trimmer. I'm going to start with a distress ink. This is Salty Ocean and blend the bottom portion with Salty Ocean. Then I will flip this around and blend the top part with chip sapphire just to create a nice gradation on this water. After I get the top fairly blended with some chip sapphire I'll go back over that top with more salty ocean just to really kind of smooth out that gradation and really get a really pretty deep ocean blue color. Now that I'm all done with my ocean, I'm going to move on to my very last layer, which is my sand layer. This is actually that little ground section of the Cloudscape panel die. I'm just going to ink blend antique linen all over this section to make it a nice kind of creamy tan color. And then I will blend at the very top a little bit of tea dye just to create a little gradation. Once I have my ink blending done, I'll take that tea dye distress ink, smoosh it down onto the water media mat, spray a little bit of water, and then mix that water with the ink. And then I'll just splatter it over that sand layer. And this just adds a nice like pebbly look. It really is a fun addition to the ground, these little splatters of paint. So now that I have all my layers done or all my sections of my background finished, I'm ready to kind of piece it all together. I'm going to start with the frame by adding some liquid glue to the backside, and then I'm just going to adhere it down to an A2 panel of some white cardstock. This is a thinner weight cardstock, about 65. I'm using something thinner because I'm going to die cut over this after, and I didn't want like two thicknesses, 110, that gets a little thick. Then I glued down my water and then my sand layer directly on top. Then I start piecing in my cloud layer, starting with the very top cloud layer and then working my way down, just kind of like a puzzle piece here, piecing these in, a little bit of glue in the backside, and once I put in that last section of clouds, this is all done. So I have a really fun background started here, and now I just need to kind of fill it up with all my die cuts. However, before we can start adding our die cut images, I do need to create the channel for my surfer girl. I'm using the smallest die from the sentiments die set, positioning it here on my front panel, using a little piece of micro pore tape to hold it in place, and then I'll run it through my die cutting machine. I did have to run it back and forth a couple of times to make sure it cut through those two layers of cardstock, but it cut through beautifully. Now that I'm done with my channel, I'm going to move on to stamping actually my sentiment. This is the Fun in Sun stamp set, the one that I'll use for my sentiment as well as as all my images for today's card. I positioned the sentiment on my Misty and then just stamped it with Momental Tuxedo Black. 
Now that my background panel is all done, I can now assemble this slider card. You're going to need a penny and lots of foam tape. The penny provides some weight, so whatever image is on the slider moves up and down freely. Without that weight, it just kind of gets stuck a little bit. I'm going to add one layer of foam tape to the back side of my background panel. I want to make sure though that I avoid placing any foam tape in about around the channel, about a penny's width around the channel. I've added one layer of foam tape and then I've removed the backing and added a second layer of foam tape. So everywhere you see foam tape has a second layer except for this little bit right here. You need that double thickness of foam tape so again that penny moves freely and doesn't get caught. We need to make sure it's thicker than the penny. I then removed the backing on the foam tape and set that aside. Now I've grabbed my penny and I've already added one rectangle of foam tape here so I'm going to add a second so I just quickly removed the backing and added a second piece of foam tape and I made sure that the foam tape was in a rectangle shape. You want to make sure it's rectangle not like circular at all. If it's circular then your slider card is going to, your image is going to spin and I don't want my surfer girl to spin at all. I want her to just slide up and down and I made sure that that didn't happen by having a little rectangle. And then I just made sure the penny was in the right spot and then adhered my front panel down sandwiching that penny to the card base. Now I'm going to start adhering all my images. So I went ahead and stamped and Copic colored all these images from the Fun and Sun stamp set and then I cut them out with the matching die. The first thing I'm going to do here is make sure my surfer girl is attached to her surfboard so I just glued her with some liquid glue and then removed the backing of the foam tape on the penny and stuck her down. Now I'm going to start gluing down these other die cut images starting with some palm trees. Then of course the little bird in the tree. Now these other pair of palm trees, I've added some foam tape to the back of them just so they have a little bit of a dim some dimension. Um, and I just removed the backing and stuck those down to the left side of my card. Now I'm going to just glue down the sand dollar and the seashell. And now I'm ready for the sun. He goes up in the sky, of course, and then my little beach towel down at the bottom. Now my boy uh, mouse, he also has some foam tape on the back of him, so I just removed the backing, stuck him down. And then I'm going to glue his little tropical drink in his hand with some little dab of gl liquid glue, and that actually completes my card. I'll now hold the card up to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details. I just adore this Fun and Sun stamp set. It's so cute, such a fun set for building summer scenes. And I couldn't resist adding an interactive element with these images. And I think the slider motion really works well for our surfer girl. She really looks like she's bobbing up and down in the water. So, so fun. And I love how the channel is completely hidden behind her. The receiver won't really realize this is a slider card or an interactive card till they kind of pull it out of the envelope and give it a little shake, which I think is going to be such a fun surprise. And they'll probably really go, how did she do that? So I think that's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit Waffle Flower and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.